I'm trying to work out um, what it is that's um, in the engine bay that's it, 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 it's not quite it's not as quiet as it should be I've been suspicious that the water pump is sort of rumbling slightly um, I've got an automotive stethoscope here and um, you just wear it in your ears like a doctor um, I've tried to sort of pick the um, because I've only got a little tiny uh, lapel microphone um, I can't pick up what the stethoscope can hear um, if I had a bigger microphone I could perhaps put it but um, you, just, you just wear it like a doctor this is a solid a solid um, you know solid shaft you know traditionally mechanics would have used a long screwdriver straight to the rear it do the same job but, but um, I've just been listening to the pump very the pump Actually, found down literally directly. It sounds very smooth. Um, do the same with the, um, uh, the steering pump. That sounds very smooth. I'm just, yeah, I'm a bit of a. It's just not quite. It's not as smooth as it should be. There's definitely some slight rumble, and it's not the engine. It's not the engine bearing. I suspect it could be the viscous fan. Um, the, 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 the fan's driven from the um, it's driven from the water pump, but the fan doesn't turn at the same speed as the engine. And um, it, it, it is at the moment. It's probably on I don't know 750 revs. And um, obviously, if an engine is turned at 3,000 revs and that fan turns at 3,000 revs, it will disintegrate. The blades can fly off, and, and it's just—it's only made of plastic, and it just cannot stand. That yeah, they, they don't—they they probably only turn at a maximum of, I don't know, 1,250, 1,500 revs. Even if the engine's screaming at four and a half, five thousand revs, the fan will slip. There's like um, there's like a coupling, um, and it's, it's it's got um, it's got a fluid in it, and obviously as the fan turns faster and faster. Um, resistance from the air that's pressed on the blades makes it slip. It's like a slipping clutch. And it could be the viscous fan that's slightly noisy. I'm not sure. There's definitely something that's not as quiet as it should be. And I did think it was the water pump, but having listened to it through the, um, through the stethoscope, I'm sure it's not the water pump, but it doesn't leak. So I'll investigate the viscous fan a little bit better. Um, I'm not sure how to test it. I'll have to find out how to test it. But it's definitely, it's just, it's just not as quite as smooth as it should be. It's funny, these um, fuel-injected engines are slightly noisier than, um, not the engine itself, but the injectors are noisy. They're much noisier than the carburetor. The well-adjusted carburetor runs very silently. But, um, yeah, the six Lucas um, injectors are quite noisy. They sort of, they do tick, 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 tick. You know, they open every, you know, every every induction stroke. No, every compression stroke. They, they, they. No, it's induction. They open and close. Open and close on each induction. And they're metallic inside, and they click, and they do make a ticking sound. If you saw the films about six months ago, and I had the actually it was November, I had all of the injectors out, and I was opening and closing them with a um, with a battery, a direct a direct short to a battery, and they were tick, 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 which is what you want to hear. But you do get quite a ticking. But it's, it's, it can be mistaken for, for, for cam, cam noise or tappet noise, but it isn't. It's the, it's the injectors. And this engine has also got LPG injection. Now, that's actually quite noisy too. So that, that ticks. That, 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 yeah, that ticks quite furiously. And I can hear it from here. And if I listen to it through the stethoscope, it's extremely loud. So, yeah, if this engine were, were not injected, if it were running on well-adjusted carbs, it would appear to be much quieter. So, um, with the bonnet down, you don't hear any of that. But, uh, yeah, I don't know, possibly, it's possibly the viscous coupling. I'll, 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 I will, um, I'll check it all out. There's definitely something that just isn't quite right. It's a slight squeak, a slight rumble. But we'll find out. <laughs>